Hello everyone, this is Moot, and welcome to the next episode of our Worm Online Worm Unlimited tutorial. In this episode, we're going to talk about crafting and hopefully plan our first building, which will be a nice wooden shack. So let's get started. First off, let's look at the crafting menu. Uh, there's a nice little crafting menu icon or shortcut at the bottom of the screen, which is a uh, the second toolbar that we talked about on the first episode inside the crafting menu if you look to the bottom left there can be the crafting recipe icon so go ahead and click that and this will actually give you a list of all the things that you can craft within uh, within worm uh, for this episode we're going to talk about tools but before we jump into that we can look at things like walls wooden walls uh, the requirement for wooden walls so for example for wooden walls the skill that it's going to need is carpentry the tools will be a mallet and a plan and then additional items will be a plank and large nails so in order to make a wooden house or any other house you need additional tools and we'll talk about blacksmithing later on the next episode we're going to learn about mining in order to get nails, you're going to have to find ore. In order to find ore, you have to find an ore vein. Uh, but let's not sidetrack. So in this episode, tools. In order to plan a house, you have to use either a mallet or a hammer. And we're going to learn how to make a mallet. So we see to make a mallet, we must create a shaft and a mallet head and put them together. But how do we create a shaft? Well, if you double click on the shaft, it will go into all the different types of shafts you can use by different types of tools so the carving knife a uh, butchering knife and then a crude knife uh, I think this carving knife is made out of steel or I'm not too sure exactly but we see that we need to take a carving knife oh I see uh, we can either uh, create a shaft from a log or a branch and a branch is if you're foraging uh, like let's say you die and lose all your tools and you can forage for them but uh, so we need a carving knife and we need a log so we have a carving knife it's our starter carving knife we're gonna take and drag that over to uh, one of the windows inside of our crafting table and remember we had all those logs that we cut up well let's go ahead and pick them up so we're gonna right click um, open I have a bind key Q for open uh, we're gonna open our pile of logs we're gonna and then I want to sort by quality so the highest quality I want um, and then we're gonna put that in the inventory and then drag it over into our crafting window and as you can see when we do that it gives us all the uh, all the items that we can create in the crafting window so I want to create shaft so I click the shaft and I say create and it's gonna go so if I click this more than once, it's going to put more actions in my queue. Um, and then likewise, it, you can actually, if you put this all the way to 3 or 7 or 10 or whatever, um, you can uh, put all the actions at once. But we only need, well, we need two, but right now we'll create two in order to create a mallet. So there's our first shaft. It's using stamina. And you can tell it's going to increase my carpentry skill, my mind logic, my body, my mind. All these different skills that we need in order to make a house with different tiles. You're going to have to have more carpentry. So I failed that one. Let's see if I fail this last one. It's also creating wood scraps that we can use to create our... Uh, little campfire which we'll need in order to smelt or, or in order to take iron ore and make them into lumps so from raw ore into lumps that you can craft with and I failed that one let's refill let's try again uh, these different tools that you can use spindles are used to create uh, um, cloth strings of cloth that you can use to create meditation rugs or cloth armor or I don't even know if you consider it armor um, cloth clothing bows a uh, different different bows provide different range okay so we finished it so in order to create our sh we created a shaft 
okay and like we said we want to go back to the mallet right so let's go ahead and search mallet and we need a shaft and a mallet head well how do we create a mallet head we double click on it and we can tell that the mallet head, it, mallet head is with the carving knife and a shaft so we're going to go ahead and replace the fur log with a shaft and we can make an arrow shaft blade pen but we want to make a mallet head clay shaper is used to improve clay items such as pots a deed stake you can use that in order to create a deed and spatula uh, is used for uh, i believe it's also for clay you uh, here's a thing that if you don't know about item you can use the the in game wiki search and you can type in spatula and it will tell you it will just parse everything from the wormpedia into it used to finish clay pottery items well i never did much attention to clay so that's a good learning experience so we have our mallet and we have our shaft now i believe that you can't use a half u shaft like each item has a requirement of how much material or weight so this shaft has 0 0.8 kilograms let's see if it will let us know it will say that the mallet head, mallet head contains two shaft and a mallet head contains too little material so that's why i created the second shaft which is completely one kilogram and i have a 50 percent chance of creating it uh, that chance will increase with the quality of items in uh, that I'm using to create and also with my carpentry skill. So I failed. Uh, luckily, when I fail, it will do damage and it won't take away quantity. And that time it did neither, but that's okay. So I created a mallet. There you go. Um, that was pretty straightforward. Now... In order to uh, plan my first house, I will activate the mallet by double clicking. I'll walk over to that first part that we flattened out. And remember, in order to um, build a house, you have to actually pack the dirt. So I went ahead and packed this dirt, but it might look like this for you. I'm going to take this packed dirt and make it into regular dirt by cultivating with the rake. And then I'm going to go ahead and pack it just to show you how to pack the dirt. So you're going to activate your shovel. You can either right click or you can use the handy dandy little uh, icons down here. And we're going to pack this dirt. We're dirt packers. We're going to activate our mallet. We're going to right click on our new pack dirt and we're going to plan building. And that looks like a beautiful building, a one by one or a one tile shack. And then you, if these were also flattened, then you can add or plan building next to it. But you see that's not flat enough, so you can't actually plan the building next to it. But let's, for the sake of this tutorial, we have one building planted and we want to actually create the building you're going to right click on the structure and you're going to finalize building plans but unfortunately i am not skilled enough in carpentry to build so i need my carpentry at least to level 10 in order to finalize this building plan in order to get that we're going to improve carpentry items and that will be in a following episode so thanks for watching this is just a basic guide of how to use the crafting window to create a mallet which you use to plan your buildings.